so I have a little tiny bit of olive oil in the pan. And I'm going to get that quite hot. And the cauliflower, a nice white cauliflower, and they're in the markets now. They're so good. Uh, just slice the cauliflower into oh, a little thinner than quarter inch slices. And, um, and then you just, I learned this from um, a French chef who was cooking in my kitchen one day. And I just kind of watched him. I really didn't follow the recipe completely, so I don't have any idea if uh, my soup, well, my soup tastes sort of like his, a little different. But um, there's no meat in this soup. Uh, it's a vegetarian soup. We used a ve plain vegetable stock, and the recipe's on the website. And in this hot pan, just saute these slices until they're slightly caramelized. And caramelized really slightly browned on the, um, on the edges, and turn them over. You're also gonna add um, a sliced shallot. And this, the shallot, all of this is gonna be very, very well pureed in our Vitamix mixer. And uh, so I'm just going to let the shallot cook on the side here. And this is what it looks like. Cooks down quite a bit. It takes about 10 to 12 minutes to get, and you see there is a little bit of brown bits in there, that's okay. And this gets put right into the Vitamix. Land this. a couple seconds. And there, that's blended. It doesn't take long. Chefs really love this machine. I, every time I have a, a chef visiting at my house, they're always asking for the Vitamix. And it's always there. Uh, you just put this through a chinois or a fine sieve. Um, and not that it doesn't really grind it up enough, but I just like this veluche to be very, very smooth, silky smooth. So we always go the extra step here and uh, push this through. And it's a beautiful soup, very tasty. And the, the vegetable stock is just a mix of carrot, celery, um, onion, uh, just the basic, basic stock and tasty. And you add salt and pepper to this soup. I think that's enough just to show you what it's going to look like. I don't add cream to it. If you want to make it a little bit fancier, you can add a little bit of heavy cream. Uh, don't forget to really flavor that with salt and pepper. Mix that up. And the croutons, now these are fun too. A little bit of olive oil in a pan. This is actually just slightly too much olive oil. I think I'll put that off to this put it off to the side. Uh, you can use olive oil for croutons or a little bit of um, butter. And I like to use brioche bread, cut it up into little tiny squares like this. These loaves come from Balthazar. I love their, I love their um, brioche. And you just brown the croutons in the olive oil and cook them. They cook really quickly, keep stirring them. And they come out like this. Just uh, make sure that you um, put them on a paper towel just to drain off the extra olive oil. And oh, we have the soup already in our tureen. Ladle it out into your bowl as much or as little as your guests can eat. I served this on Christmas Eve and oh, my daughter loved it. Kevin Sharkey was there, he loved it. And it was really uh, quite, quite delicious. Um, just a little sprinkling of the brioche croutons and a little bit of deep fried in olive oil parsley.